Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Bill Burr. I'm 38 and she's 19. Let's see what he has to say. Right, I'm 38, she's 19. Oh, Jesus, and pregnant. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. No. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. No. All right. When you were banging her, were you still wearing your high school football jacket that you can't button anymore? <laughs> oh, God. The visual, All right. Hey, the old Billy Bloodnut. Uh, Josh here from Sydney, Australia. Oh, one of my favorite fucking countries out there. I love Australia. I haven't been there in forever. Um, I need the advice of the world's greatest copper wire pubes owner. Well, that would be me. Um, All right. Why? Why are these introductions just always so much more than I need them to be? Copper wire. Did we, did, did I need that visual? No. Did I want that visual? No. <laughs> the world's greatest copper wire pubes owner. Well, that would be me. Um, oh, why? I'm a 38-year-old man who's been seeing a 19-year-old stunner. 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 Um, all right. Well, I don't know what the... Uh, that would be frowned upon here, <laughs> you know. I mean, people what did it. it. I mean, people always made fun of that shit. All right. What if I don't know. I don't know how it works over there. All right. We met at the gym. I'll never forget the day she walked in. The second I saw her, my heart skipped a beat as she put down her book bag. I'm kidding. My heart skipped a beat and I froze. <laughs> Amazing face, fuck me eyes, tiny waist, and a fat ass that hips thrust 200 kilograms. Jesus, this guy is a fucking creep. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know the laws down in Australia. And I am not, I am in no way, shape, or form judging anyone. This is really, really. But... What if this girl was 16? What if she was 15? What if she was 18 and turning 19 in two days? I don't care. But the fact that like this 38 year old man saw this girl and immediately thought those things about her is predatory. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Cause she like, unless she just happens to look like a 38 year old woman, I mean, if she were 18 and he were reading this, this would be illegal in the States. Or sorry, if she was 17, not 18, my apologies. And I'm just like, he just said that? Isn't that, I'm asking, is that predatory? I mean, I know we all see each other with our eyes, right? I'm not naive to the fact that we all see each other. And no matter what people say, I see the hair, I see, we all see each other physically before we see anything. So I get that. But like the fact that he like didn't have any inclination to like suppress these feelings because he wasn't aware of her age is scary to me a little bit. Like if I had a 17 year old daughter who went to the gym and the 30 year old man looked at her and immediately started thinking like that, that's scary. I, ha I have a daughter. <laughs> that's scary to me. I just, I don't know the laws down in Australia. Uh, and laws have nothing to do with what people think and feel immediately when they see somebody. I'm just like, yikes. Right? Bill said she put down her book bag and that sent me. But truly, that's, what, that's really the mindset that everyone should be in. When you, when you see a 19 year old, male or female, you should think they're, they're still a child. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Again, I'm not judging. I'm just asking because do what you want, right? Especially if this is a consensual situation. She is of age. She is an adult. I'm just, I just got questions. 200 kilograms. Jesus, this guy is a fucking creep. Um, I've never had a problem speaking with women, to be honest. I fucked roughly 1,000 women in my years with a few serious relationships in between. Oh, man. You've had serious relationships while fucking a thousand. You must have been fucking those no, women right through those relationships. Uh, I couldn't even say hello to this girl for three months. The whole time I thought she was 26. Um, okay. I changed gyms for a week and every day. All okay. All right. So now he's saying she looked older than 19. And so there, there it is. That's why I mean, I had to ask all the questions. Now, if she walked in and she looked 15, then that's something different. But she looked this whole time. He just guessed she was 26, I guess. And there are young women out here who carry themselves a lot more maturely than others. Same with men, you know, young young men, whatever. 
Um, I don't think he was saying he was in those relationships and having relations. I think he was saying in between those relationships, he would have relations with several women. At least that's what I'm taking. He's he's He started off hot and now he's kind of like putting some cold water in the hot water to make, make it all better. I'm, I, it's fine. I thought she was 26. Um, I changed gyms for a week and every day, all day within that week, I felt like it would be my life's regret if I didn't say hello. All right. I swallowed my fears probably from building her up in my head that three months mm -hmm. and went back to the gym and finally said to hello. Hello. Her response was the same as my energy. She had been waiting for me to say hello that whole time. Uh, the next day we went for d dinner and cocktails. I found out she, she was cocktails. 19 an influencer with over 200,000 follower. Pretty good. Okay. This is in Australia. Let me know. Can you drink at uh, 19 legally in Australia? Cause he said cocktails. Uh, chances are, well, if she met you with the same energy, then maybe she was attracted to you, but I'm just saying he's like, she was waiting for me to say hello. Were you staring at her? <laughs> she like, just come over here. I don't know. Let's 19, an influencer with over 200,000 follower, pretty good for an Aussie chick and had been living between Sydney and LA for a couple of years. Needless to say, using the words of the great Dave Chappelle, I beat the pussy up. You know, I got to get, you know, I got to tip my cap to how unfiltered this guy is. Murphy's Law so unfiltered. has it that she falls pregnant. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. That's what, that's what did it, Murphy's Law. I don't think that's Murphy's Law, buddy. I think that's the law of nature. If you don't wear a condom and she's not barren and you fucking bust in her, yeah, that, that could happen. That's not Murphy's Law, dude. Let's not blame the Irish for this one, too. All right, we came to, uh, to the decision not to go through with it. Over the weeks, she went to, to scans so they can determine dates and when to do the deed. Over the time, uh, that time, she grew attached to the pregnancy by seeing the heartbeat. Yeah, and the pictures. Exactly. And ultimately decided to keep it. Well, good for her. <laughs> um, over the weeks, in that meantime, I struggled with the age difference. Oh, now you struggle with the age difference. You know, it's fucking... <laughs> I love that Bill is literally saying everything I'm thinking. Like, what? I started to... Str she kept the baby, and so I started to struggle with the age difference. Now, here's a question. I know there are t tons of marriages in the world with larger age gaps. But as someone who can barely hold a conversation with my brothers who are in their 20s, because I just feel like we have nothing in common, what do two people with a 20-year age gap talk about? What do they relate on? I'm asking. Again, I just want to know. Like, you met, you did the deed, she got pregnant, and now you're realizing, oh, she's 19. Where is this going? Meantime, I struggled with the age difference. Oh, now you struggle with the age. You never fucking struggle when you fucking busted a nut in her. The major reason being, I have a five-year-old son to one woman and an 18-year-old daughter to another. This guy is a fucking piece of work. Uh, the they're the same year old? age. Your older daughter. Yeah, it's the same age. Uh, Billy Big Balls. Oh, what the fuck daughter. do I do? You have well, there's nothing daughter? you can do. You gotta, he goes, my daughter doesn't know. Well, you got to tell her. I've told my besties, and they're, they're all like, bro, you're the king. This oh. is just reading like this isn't real. I, I, they didn't. You're the king of what, sir? I'm with Bill. Is this true? Like, how do you explain to your 18-year-old daughter that you got a girl 19 pregnant? The trauma for that poor girl. I'm with Bill. Is this just a, he was just trying to get on the show. So he thought of the most insane story. I don't know. The mitigated gall of this man and some of the things he's saying, though. The filter. The filter is... Turned off. Go like, bro, you just fucked your life. Uh, but I feel like a dud and a bad father. Um, I'd say you definitely have some sort of issues. You might want to go to therapy if this is true. <laughs> and see why you're banging a thousand women and fucking... You got a five-year-old with this one, an 18-year-old with that one. Now you're going to have one with this 19-year-old. Um, 
yeah, I would definitely say you got some sort of commitment issues or something. I don't know what, but it's going to cost you. If you were in my country, dude, you'd be fucking broke. Oh, for uh, sure. If my daughter was seeing a dude my age, it would be the last day she saw him alive. For sure. Okay, so... All right, so so are you acknowledging that you were a bit of a dirtbag here? Uh, but goddamn, what would a bald, emaciated Viking like yourself do? Uh, I would raise that kid, and I'd start wearing a fucking condom is what I would do. Stay blessed, stay healthy, stay being awesome. Every day, listener to something of your work for years now. Yeah, buddy, uh, listen, dude, you got to get your dick under control. Okay. Your dick is fucking your life up. Uh, you don't have control over it, and your dick is deciding what you're going to do rather than your brain. Because if you looked at all of that on paper, if you yeah. talk to the younger you, now I know you love yeah. your kids and everything. Yeah. Okay. This is fantastic advice. If you looked at all of this on paper, if you were reading this about somebody else, if you were reading this story to the younger you, you know what I mean? That's some sound advice in any situation, I think, that where you have questions about your character and your your moral compass. That's great advice, Billy the Goat. All of that on paper. If you talk to the younger you, now I know you love your kids and everything, okay? Didn't you, you wanted to find, I don't think that you wanted to have a bunch of kids with a bunch of different women. Um, I mean, that makes it really difficult, but I mean, it is your life. So what I would do is I would man up to what you did. I would tell my daughters about it. I'd go to therapy if you feel, if you agree with what I'm saying. I would start wearing a condom. First, um, first and foremost. And, uh, you know, i try to get with women my own age or within reason. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, I'll go with the fact you thought she was 26, but when you found out she was 19, not only do you still go, oh, I guess you found out on the day, you still bang her. You bust a nut in her. I mean... Those were, you know, what's the nicest way of saying really fucking stupid moves? Um, yeah, buddy, what are you doing, man? I'm getting stress reading this whole fucking thing. Um, Bill is taking yeah, every so that's word what I would out do. of my mouth. Stress. I mean, you just got You got to. This episode is stressful. This is one of the ones I'm like, oh, my good gracious. It's stressful. We're stressed. You're stressed. I'm stressed. Bill's stressed. You got to raise this kid. Is what you got to do. I, I would. I don't know where your now soon to be three kids live. I would pick an apartment right in the middle yeah. of all of them, and I would dedicate the next twenty years of my life to making sure that five year old and that your new kid um, don't have daddy issues, Ooh. so they don't go to a gym and bang some thirty eight year old without a fucking condom. <laughs> all right. Good luck to you, brother. Bill. That was actually, I mean, I agreed with everything he said. Solid advice. Solid advice. I, I don't know if that was true. I hope it's not. I hope he just was like, let me write the wackiest story so I can get on this show. I hope that's not true. I mean, I also don't think it would be super hard to find a 19-year-old influencer. Well, she's, that was 2020. It's 2023. She's somewhere between. Oh, my God. That's how tired that episode just made me. I had to yawn. What is that? Three years? So she's 20, 22 now? Ish. Uh, she's probably easily found if you if you search hard enough. We know she's Australian. She's in her early 20s, and she should have a baby by now who's somewhere around two or three. <laughs> Let me know if you find her. Anywho, go and have a much better day than this guy because you deserve it. Peace.